The first thing that God tells us about God is that he's creative. God is love, but that's not the first thing he tells us about himself. God is omnipotent, but that's not the first thing he tells us about himself. God is omniscient, but that's not the first thing he tells us about himself. God is omnipresent, but that's not the first thing he tells us about himself. He's judge, he's just, he's righteous, he's holy, he's all that. None of those are the first things he told us. The first thing he told us is that he's creative. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Why did he do that? Because he's creative, and therefore it is his nature to create. Why is the fact that God's creative the first thing that God told us about himself? Because he created us in his image. So he wanted us to know why he created us, which means he created us to create stuff and he made us to make stuff. You were put here to create stuff. You were put here to make stuff. Why? That's how you exercise your God likeness. Okay? Now, here's what God said. He said, be fruitful. Parameter number one, be. Be fruitful. What is a fruit? A fruit is a living organism whose seed is where? In itself. Which means God put the seed inside the fruit so that when the fruit is consumed the seed is exp- the seed is exposed then consumption creates production it's not a bakery there are no pieces of a pie there is no pie no one has too many pieces of the pie there won't be enough left over there. fortunately when god created man he didn't put him in a bakery he put him in a garden why because in a garden consumption creates production it's the genesis okay and God desires for all of us to be producers, producers who, prosumers, producers who consume and consumers who produce. If you're only doing one half of either one of those equations, you're missing the boat. 